Ah, well, hello, everyone. It's me, Alex Coulomb, your friendly neighborhood XR spatial computer device tester developer person. And uh, today I am trying to get a better handle on the personas. And it's actually surprisingly difficult to get a really good sense of how your persona is behaving. Um, there is the actual persona menu and settings, but I thought it would be useful to kind of see it more in an actual conversation. But I have no friends, zero people at all that I can talk to. So I'm just just talk to myself. Why not? It'll be great. Uh, a few of the things I want to figure out here are how does this compare to things like MetaHumans, um, the MetaQuest Pro facial tracking, LiveLink face on an iPhone, which by the way, is not supported in Apple Vision Pro. Right. I'm going to try putting this on and have a conversation with myself and I'll see myself while we're talking and uh, we'll just see how it feels compared to what I would expect. So I'm going to change microphones. Hopefully that doesn't break anything and we'll take a look. Great. Unmute. Great. Okay. <laughs> so here we are uh, just trying to talk and uh, we got our hands. You see they kind of fade in and out depending on how things are going. I can also lean in, lean out. Um, I wish we could get my eyes close enough so that you could tell whether or not it has uh, successfully gotten the fact that I have two different sized pupils in my eyes. Yeah, my um, left pupil. Can I point? Can I point in a way? Yeah, there we go. There's the finger. This pupil <laughs> is um, uh, larger than this pupil. This pupil is larger than this pupil, but you probably can't tell with my persona. But hey, this definitely looks better than any uh, metahuman I've done for myself. There's definitely some Uncanny Valley stuff. Uh, I do want you to take note of the weird wrinkles and marks and rashes, I don't know what to call that, uh, that this picked up on my face. And the reason this happened was because I made my persona after already being in the headset for like three hours. So what you're getting is, you know, the way my face looked when I scanned my persona. I'm sure there's going to be a little boutique cottage industry uh, all about getting made up and your hair done in the perfect way to give you the best possible uh, Apple Vision Pro persona. It's going to happen. Uh, I will not be taking part in that, but it's fun to just kind of note these things. Uh, I like the fact that it did capture my shirt. Um, I certainly, there's no cloth physics, no cloth dynamics, so I can't do anything there. The hair is fine. I got to go get a haircut, so I'm not going to complain about that too much. But grooms, <laughs> what is that? It's just a big white um, thing coming up. Uh, the grooms are always tricky. I find that anything that has facial tracking tends to have a lot of trouble with grooms. Um, yeah, again, MetaQuest Pro, a facial tracking and a live link face. It just it doesn't know as well exactly uh, where your mouth and lips and all that are. So if I just try to hold my mouth still a little bit, like I'm just going to go. First of all, the white thing is very strange, but you see it also kind of flickers a little bit. Can I do that? Yeah, you can kind of see that. No, my hand, my fingers can't touch. <laughs> That's so weird that pinching is such a, a key gesture for this, but it can't actually detect me doing a proper pinch there. Uh, in any case, um, you could see a little bit that my face um, would twitch a little bit, even if I'm holding still. I think that has to do with the uncertainty about where grooms go. Um, on the bright side, check out what your tongue can do in here. Ready? I'll stick my tongue out. Blah, blah. But you can also move it left and right. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, that's not something I've ever been able to do with an avatar before. Metahumans uh, have not done that in my experience. Uh, none of the Quest avatars. Quest just recently added tongue tracking, but it's a little bit janky right now. So I don't know. Even though they do not scan your tongue, I'm just glad that there's some proper tongue stuff going on now. That's pretty great. Uh, what else we got? Just like tilting our head side to side, up and down again, you know, getting closer and further away. I do get a lot of warnings about like, move back. You're too close. Stop it. You're scaring everyone. Uh, you know, little warnings like that. But I think if we could just be a little more consistent about things not fit. Like, I wish you could actually slide up or down, like how much you want things to fade in or out because i think it's a little too much right now like even if the confidence isn't 100 percent for where my hands are i i would still like the hands to be present more i also feel like my avatar just looks a little more like cruel or i don't know like he's gonna murder someone than i actually do in real life i'm a generally pretty jovial person i think i have very smiley eyes and i don't feel like my avatar's eyes are quite as smiley but let's let's do some smiling ready <laughs> and you be the judge of how well the uh, the avatar here is 
capturing that particular look. Um, what else do we want to test? Let's so when you're talking, um, one thing that tends to help a lot to feel like it's actually a real mouth moving is if the tongue is doing the right things for like, you know, if you say ta 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 or the 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 way your tongue actually goes between your teeth. Um, the fact that that's actually coming across pretty well in the avatar here is um, impressive. So let's do our typical, the tip of the tongue, the lips, and the teeth, the teeth, the teeth. Yeah. Um, so that's better than a lot of other setups I've seen. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And of course, we got our blinking. I like that the eyebrows work really well. I have very expressive eyebrows. And uh, usually that does not get captured um, by most things. I do wish I knew what's causing those weird, like, white blips to pop up everywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, I do feel a lot like a ghost. Um, when you're actually talking to other people in here, we had a nice little conversation at 2 a.m. in the morning, uh, Oz from uh, Puzzling Blazes and uh, Ian Hamilton from Upload VR and I, and uh, they were the first people I'd ever seen as these persona avatars, and they looked really good. Um, I've met both of them in real life before, and I felt like these were actually pretty fair representations of them, and it helped that they were actually three-dimensional. What you're seeing right now as a 2D experience does not capture at all uh, what it actually feels like. But I think a, a good persona capture, even in this beta stage that's currently in, can go a long way. I do just wish we were given a, a little bit more uh, of an opportunity to dial up and down the settings. Like it lets you do, um, what is it, like brightness and contrast or something like that, or, or, or temperature um, after you do your persona capture. But even just for the things that are happening live, I would love to be able to control things like the uh, sensitivity to fading in and out. Um, it would also be cool to be able to, I don't know, change my outfit or add things besides glasses. Maybe I want to wear a cool hat. I don't know. Although I did see someone actually who whose persona seemed to have captured a hat. So there's some clever stuff going on here. Um, let's try the other basic mouth shape things. Let's do some cheek puffing. Ready? Mm. It's okay. Um, what about just closing my mouth properly? So still open close. Still open. Close. Do you see my teeth there? Yeah, it's an interesting uh, back and forth. Yeah, cool. All right. Um, I guess that's it for now. Just, you know, fingers. Uh, let's try to see. Yeah. Doot, doot, doot. Tapping away. Why the left one fade out? I don't know. But um, yeah, no rings. No rings. You'll notice it doesn't pick up on <laughs> wedding rings or cloud hour rings or anything like that. But I'm I'm reasonably impressed with this as a very first early beta release um, that is just suddenly available and it's it's only going to get better. Um, oh, and by the way, if you want to try something out like this yourself, it's very hard to record audio with FaceTime. So with Zoom, what I recommend you do is uh, have two accounts, two different Zoom accounts, and then have some way to pass information back and forth between your devices, email, iMessage, whatever, and do the full um zoom invite link like the long one where it gives you a bunch of different things because um, when i tried to do an invite directly from zoom when i clicked on it in the apple vision pro it just opened the zoom app and then i had to do it all manually but when i did the full like invite someone to this meeting kind of thing uh the longer version there was able to open up directly into zoom in the apple vision pro so if you want to try this out for yourself that's what i would recommend cool by the way what happens if i go like really sideways I'm not going to know what this looks like, but like, can you get like the back of my head or does it just fade out? I don't know. This is all for science. We're just trying stuff out here. Um, anyways, that's all for now. Good to chat with you people out there in the world. Um, and I'm done.